You are getting close to the airport you want to land at and you need to start thinking about descending. When should you begin a descent to that airport? Well, the first question to ask is what descent rate do you want to take? The common descent rate is 500 feet per minute and we will use that in this example. Next, you want to get the airport elevation. For the Spirit of St. Louis Airport, this is 463 feet, and this can be seen by looking at sources such as charts, like this one on skyvector.com, or the airport diagram. Next, you want to determine what the traffic pattern altitude is around the airport. Most pattern altitudes are about 1,000 feet AGL or above ground level, but this is not always the case. To make sure, you can look up the information for the airport you're interested in. You can get this information from different sources, but we will use the information from airnav.com. Notice under the Airport Operations section, there is information for the pattern altitude. The pattern altitude differs for prop planes and jets. For props, the pattern altitude depends on which runway you are landing on. For runway 08 right or 26 left, the traffic pattern is 1,237 feet AGL. If you add that to the airport elevation of 463 feet, the altitude is 1,700 feet, which you can see is also listed. However, we will land on runway 08 left, so this is a pattern altitude of 837 feet, and when added to 463 feet equals 1300 feet. Next, we need to look at our current cruise altitude, which is 6,000 feet. We need to subtract the pattern altitude of 1300 feet from the cruise altitude of 6,000 feet, which gives us 4,700 feet. This is the number of feet we need to descend to get to pattern altitude. Now we need to determine how many minutes it will take to reach traffic pattern altitude. We take 4,700 feet and divide it by our descent rate of 500 feet per minute, which gives us 9.4 minutes. Next, we need to ask what our descending airspeed will be. We will use 100 knots in this example. To determine how many knots we can fly at that speed in a minute, we will take 100 nautical miles and divide it by 60 minutes, and that gives us approximately 1.67 nautical miles, or knots, per minute. Finally, take the 1.67 nautical miles and multiply it by 9.4 minutes, and that gives us a distance of 15.67 nautical miles. So we can begin the descent around 16 miles, or maybe a little more, but always keep the terrain and obstacles in mind as you might need to vary your descent if that is an issue. Click on the link in this video if you want to access a spreadsheet that has these calculations in it, which you can use and modify for your needs. Subscribe to this channel to learn more.